Hey everybody, it's Michael Skelton here. Today we're going to be taking a look at BIOS Genesis, a game by Phil Eklund that was put out on Kickstarter, at least the second edition was, and published by Sierra Madre Games. Just got it in the mail not too long ago. I'm pretty excited to check it out. So let's crack it open and see what's inside. Now I have not played a Phil Eklund game before. So I'm pretty excited to try it. I debated this one for a while, watched a, a couple videos on it and decided, hey, why not give it a shot? Sounds like it plays pretty good solo and two players, which is important to me. And even though it seemed very complicated, the more I learned about it, the less complicated it actually seemed. So I'm hoping to wrap my head around the rule book and, uh, figure it out so let's unbox it now this is a tiny box i don't know if you can tell i'm pretty zoomed in but for how complex and sort of thinky this game is supposed to be it's it's smaller than the boxes for the universe games like oniram sylvian those things like that it's kind of deep but the dimensions uh, actually really surprised me so to know what I'm actually talking about when I show you the pieces to this game, I'm going to get down to the rule book and open it up so I can know what these pieces are called. I've got the rule books, so let's show off that first. It looks really nice, actually. Um, go through a few pages here. It's very text-heavy. See if we can, oh, there's a page with an example. So, ooh, in the back. The back of the rule book has a really nice summary reference. Oh, it says continued. So, looks like that part of it is also the summary. Um, let's see how many pages. 66. So, the back would be 67. Looks like it's all rules from what I can tell. So, 67 pages for this small game. Kind of blows my mind. All right, let's take a look at all the pieces. So actually a lot of the names for these things depends on the area they're in in the game. These are a whole bunch of discs. Let's open this up. Give you a look. They're kind of uh, translucent discs. They're actually really thick. Got four colors here, blue, green, red, and yellow. So now we've got some wooden cubes. Looks like pretty standard issue cubes here. We got blue, green, red, and yellow. It's actually more of an orange. Not sure if it's supposed to be orange or yellow, um, but they're just pretty much what you'd expect. We've got domes. You don't get very many of these compared to the other ones. It looks like there's four of each color. And they're basically, uh, yeah, domes. Like they're rounded on top, flat on the bottom. Pretty cool. You don't see those tokens in any other games, really, that I know of. Dice. So there's, looks like 12 sort of translucent blue dice. All right, there's a close-up. I don't know if you can see it, but they look kind of like frosted over. Really cool look to them. All right, we've got some cards. I'll open those up. Nice, they've actually got a little tab for opening them up. I hate it when games do not have that. But sometimes they're really hard to get open. Looks like we got four uh, parasite cards, I believe these are called. One for each color. They are double-sided as well. So next up we have the 20 mutation cards. Just gonna quickly scroll through some of them. And there we go, all different colors. And these are double-sided as well. These are the, uh, yeah. oh geez, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. Eukaryota? Eukaryota? I think that basically means it's the upgraded side. What's the other ones called? Prokaryote? Prokaryote? Oh man, I'm butchering these. I think I need to take some biology lessons so I know what I'm doing, know what I'm pronouncing. There's 20 of those. 
We've got eight macroorganisms. Here's the trilobites, flatworms, sea stars, something else, lamp shells, seaweed, arrowworms. These are also double sided. Snails, velvet worms, amphibians, earthworms, and insects. There's a close up of the reverse side and a close up of the front side. We've got four land cards here active ocean landform, active coastal landform, active continent landform, active cosmic landform. And on the reverse, same thing, but they're inactive. All right, now we have 24 event cards. On the back, it says the era of the event. I'm not going to try and pronounce those either. And on the front side, it says the event. So Medea's Revenge, Gaia Ozone Layer, Ocean's Rust Out, Ocean Overturn. Let's give you a close-up of this. I believe these are the landforms that they either trigger or can be triggered on. Something to do about the uh, player turn order for that after that event. So I believe that means blue goes first. Um, each of these events has a nice just description. In fact, all of these cards do. I, I should have pointed that out, but they've all got quotes and things like that on them. I think these are actually sort of the events that happen because of this card. You can see that. So yeah, real nice quality here. Cards, cards seem sturdy and good. All right, so that's all the cards in the game. And now we've got some tiles or placards in the box. Let's dump those out. Ooh, what's this? A game reference that was on the very bottom. That looks like it gives you the... Sort of cheat sheet for what you're doing on your turn after you know the rules. So it's uh, folds out three pages, double sided. All right, so these are pretty big. I'm trying to hold them so you can see it all. There's in all four colors, player colors, and on the reverse side, they're all double sided. So it looks like this side is the refugium. Here's sort of what the die rolls mean for this refugium. The mana structure and color hierarchy. All right, here's the reverse. Looks like these are bacteria. Yeah, lots of symbols, but I think it means that once you have the basics down in your reference sheet here, along with the back of the rule book, maybe, uh, that you won't really have to consult the rules too much except for corner cases. So yeah, that was everything in the box. Let's put it all back in. Wrap this up. All right, and that's everything in the box for Bios Genesis 2nd Edition, the Molecular Arms Race Game. Put out by Sierra Madre Games and Phil Eklund. I don't think I ever showed the back. Let's do a little zoom up there. Suitable for competitive, cooperative, and solitaire play. One to four players, one to two hours. So hopefully I'll enjoy it, and maybe I can even convince my wife to play with me if it's not as bad as it looks on the outside. I know this theme should interest her since she went to school for physics and astronomy. So anyways, that's it for me. Let me know in the comments what you think of Bios Genesis. Um, if you've played it or if you're getting it through Kickstarter or if you have no interest in it, just let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing for future videos. And with that, Michael Skeleton is out.